Hello, 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 hello. One hundred eighty dollars. Everything looking good. Everything looking good. Welcome in, everybody. Another two. Nah, no, no, no. Everything's not good. Still something in my eye. Welcome in, everybody. Another wonderful Tuesday is upon us. There's a lot to discuss. There's been a lot going on on eBay of all places. We have some insane sales taking place. We have an update with Heritage Auctions here. Uh, not a great one, unfortunately. A little bit of bad news with Heritage coming. But um, starting off here with Challenge of the Dragon. 8.08+. A plus. Yeah, 59 games tonight. Super tiny Next one. Lot. Super tiny auction. 8.08 8 plus going for $1,000 there into a Donkey Kong Country, uh, sorry, Donkey Kong 3 Arcade Classics 9.6 cart 9.4 box. Hang tab copy here. Or fuck. 9.6 cart 9.4 manual. 7.5 box. Jesus. But... Uh, with Heritage, I do want to tell you guys Fair now one. the auction's already underway, but the buyer's premium has moved to 25% now. Um, on the first $1 million, it's 25%. So basically, everyone Fair is one. going to be paying 25% now buyer's premium. Uh, you know, buying and selling. Dollars. Just make sure you're always, always, always keeping your eye on the BP price. Always be looking at the BP price Fair there. One. You can see now $200 bid. 250 with the buyer's $240. premium. So, 5% jump on the buyer's premium. Always be keeping your eye on the BP price there. Fair warning. I don't want any of you guys to get caught off guard by it or anything. So, start off by announcing Next that lot. this is the first auction that has the increase. So, we shall see what it does. We'll see if it has an effect on buyers, sellers, if it changes anything. Fair warning. We'll see. We'll see, but I want to make sure you guys are aware. Mike Tyson cartridge, 7.5, signed by Mike Tyson, and also JSA verified. So the signature is verified. The cartridge is authentic, obviously. Selling for $375. <clears throat> Ninja Gaiden VGA 80 plus. Nice copy of Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, not much of a premium there on Tyson's signature. Um, I, I think if you were to have the signature on an actual nice cartridge, it would do it. Like a 7.5 cartridge is Next very, one. very, very average. So not too much of a premium on a Tyson signature, but a cool item to own nonetheless. Ninja Gaiden 756 there for the 80 plus. Spy versus Spy is a 9.4 B plus. And welcome in, everybody. Super Gotcha, Fair Teleport one. Anime, hey, Wholesale, Exploded Hamster, Super Junk, Danger D. Any updates on Gamer Stonks? No. No updates at all, Danger D. It's Gonzo. The only update is that it is still gone. Everyone's accounts are shut Fair off one. now, I believe. The website will be taken down. Uh, if the, the website might be taken down already. Next lot. So no updates. It's, it's just gone. Five versus spy going for 550 bucks. Roger Rabbit, 9.2A+. Big Box Game Shop, Anime Wholesale, Joe Kane, Game Gallery. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. $480. Super excited to pay an extra 5%. Yeah. $550. <laughs> yeah. Seems like we're all super jazzed up about that. Seems like the uh, every, everyone's excited for an extra 5% BP. So that's good. Fair Yo, Bantilo. Bantillo. People Next in Discord one. told you that Mike Tyson's signature is quite common. Dollars. Yes, it, it is. Like Tyson's signature, Tyson signs a lot of stuff. It's one of those items though that like, I'm glad Tyson sells a lot of stuff because I like, I, I would buy a cartridge signed by Tyson. I think that's very cool. A 7.5, like I said, eh, it's a cool item. You live in Australia, you pay the import cost and an extra 5%. Yeah, that's tough. Roger Rabbit, $625. Uh, checking Fair comps one. and stuff is going to be a bit slower, so if there's anything you do want to have checked, just let me know. Uh, without Gamer Stonks, it's just a bit slower of a prospect just overall. 9.2 Roger Rabbit for $625 is pretty decent. 9.6A back one. in October, 9.6A plus back in November for $780. $60. For some reason, I thought Roger Rabbit sells like crazy high, but that uh, $625 there is actually not bad at all. 
Fair 15 warning. unlicensed Brazilian NES games. Next <clears> one. <throat> $70. Those went for $187.50 into two $80. guides here. This is really interesting for any of you deep $90. NES guys. There are some lots of game guides here graded by CGC. Uh, these are rare as heck, as far as I know. So... Some rare guidebooks for NES here, graded by CGC, coming up, starting off with Dragon Warrior 4 and Dragon Warrior 2. I didn't even know CGC graded this stuff. To be completely honest with you guys. $150. Yeah, I think the default consignment fee, big box, is 0 to 15%, I think. You're going to be somewhere in there, depending on how much you can sign, all that stuff. $60. Fair warning. Uh, the BP was 20% prior. 20% Odin was the BP. Next, It one. went from 20% to 25% on the BP side. 187.50 for the two guides there. Dragon Warrior 4 and Dragon Warrior 2. This one has um, Might warning. and Magic Clue Book, $65. Wizardry, the Hint Book, Guide Book, and the Ultima Hint Book. Again, these are just like really hard to find. If you're someone who cares about this type of paper stuff, like you, you know how difficult these are to find. Fair warning. Next lot. $24. The three lot there selling for $162.50. Uh, I assume it's $30 or $40 to grade every one of these, isn't it? So like <laughs> barely any premium over the grading fees there. This one is Adventures of Lalo, Shadowgate, Hint Book, so and much. Fester's the Quest. Teleport Beta is out now. Couldn't have done it without you, Greg. And teleport with the 20. Let's go, dude. Much appreciated, man. And much, Fair like, work. I wish you guys all the success now that you're launched $80. up. That's huge. That came together quickly, honestly. Here's hoping you get some business, some people. Here's hoping it all comes quick, man. Fair warning. Huge congrats and huge thank you. Lot. $24. Huge $24. thank you, Teleport. The group lot of three there with uh, Lalo, Shadowgate, and Festers going for $104. $48. Yeah, that's 65. what I'm saying there, Exploded Hamster. Or, um, yeah, the Wizardry Hint book is so $80. rare that lot was a steal for whoever got those. You missed the Wizardry book. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, those are these are hard as heck $85. to find if you're actually looking for them. Maniac Mansion, Star Wars, and King's Quest V in this one. All three of them graded as well. And pretty Fair darn good grades dollars. on these ones. $110. <clears throat> Maybe you should have sent in your Halo for the signature. What's the deadline? Great question. And of course, tonight's, <laughs> tonight's stream is sponsored by Heritage Auctions. If you're curious on any of the consignment Fair deadlines warning. coming up in the description of the video, I do have an easy copy-paste link there. You can just put it in. So for the upcoming signature, your deadline is today. <laughs> so yeah if you're looking to get into a signature i mean you could reach out and ask odin the deadline was today the next signature will be in august uh you could reach out and just see but uh today was the official deadline deadline also coming up for sixth generation and beyond showcase as well as the japanese showcase auction this month this thursday we have the uh ages of sega showcase auction that's taking place this thursday hopefully you guys can come out with that if you have expensive games rare games sealed games heritage can help you get them graded as well you don't pay any of the fees until after the stuff sells so if you're worried about upfront grading fees Fair heritage warning. can help you with all of that Reach out video games at ha.com to consign Next with Heritage. Lot. See if it's the right choice $1. for you. Reach out for free appraisals. There's a $2. link in the description as well. You can reach out using that. Video games at ha.com. Huge thanks to them sponsoring. Huge thanks to you guys being here tonight. Fair yeah, work. that's tough, Odin. That's a tough time for you to ask there. <laughs> the group lot of these three guidebooks went for $212.50, and the group lot of two fold out maps for Dragon Warrior 4, as well as other. What Fair else work. is in here? UF what the four dollars. It says UFC throwdown. Oh, you also get a, a you get a poster for UFC and Resident $5. Evil on the back of the UFC $6. one? A very weird combination here. $7. Uh for the Dragon Warrior four and uh UFC fans out there. 
Eight That's numbers. weird that they're thrown together, but you do get both of them. So I think there's like three, three total you get here. Yeah, Fair two war. Dragon Warrior maps and the UFC numbers. one. And on the back of the UFC one is Resident Evil. There we go. I had to put it together. Had to put it together. $18. And now it's actually getting some love. People are showing up for the UFC one now. You tapped out on the Maniac? These are actually high-grade ones on these hamster, though. Like an 8.0 on the Maniac Mansion book and a 9.0 on King's Quest? Like, those are actually really high grades. Fair warning. Rare enough to just find them? I can only assume it's damn near impossible in really nice shape. $34. <clears throat> you got your Zelda Skyward Sword Wii Boat Bundle graded, and it got 90. Oh my gosh. You may list it for an insane price to see. Oh, I would too. I would too, Poker Face. 90 on that is Next really one. nice. That box is super $2. fragile. I mean, worst case, you just $4. post it up and no one buys it, right? But like, at a 90 $6. grade, you could definitely put it up and see if some feelers are out there. These are the big Konami $8. posters, $10. aren't they? $14. Designed for promotional $18. purposes. $22. Two of them. $26. They're 28 by 22. These are big posters. Yeah, 25% BP now, $34. Fletch. $34. If anyone's coming $8. in late, make sure $42. you're always looking at the buyer's premium number there for when you're placing your bids. 25% now. Don't want any of you guys to get caught on that. This is the first auction Fair with the one. change. Um, The change seems permanent moving forward. Next lot. $380. The two Konami posters there are closing for $69. Into Artie Lightfoot. Super Nintendo starts now, folks. And also, before we get away from NES stuff there, of course, on eBay over the weekend? Was it over the weekend that it happened? I believe so. We had Castlevania sell for $90,000. Uh, purchased by Minus Worlds Tom. Huge congrats to him. That's It's insane, right? Absolutely insane. Artie Lightfoot is climbing its way up to... Oh my... The bid numbers are all different now. Uh, we're looking for 750. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be weird me announcing these. It's numbers I'm not used to seeing. But... Fair warning. With the... Um, with the Castlevania. So a big thing we were talking about is like, would it do better on Heritage? Would it do better if it was already graded and sent to auction... Well, for the May Signature Auction, 9.2 A-plus hang tab copy is coming to Heritage Auctions. Next Announced by Heritage a day ago, this will be coming to Heritage Auctions. And this copy here is the Comic Connect copy. The one that they were Fair trying one. to sell for $1.25 back in 90. 2021. That's the copy that's going to be coming to Heritage. I don't know if they ever traded hands here. Like, I don't know if the uh, Comic Connect guys ever Fair actually one. sold it or not. This whole article here just, like, pumps it. If you want to see this, I can, I can go ahead and link the article. It's basically just a fluff piece saying how absolutely rare this is and how great it is. But, uh, you know, it is a pretty awesome game. But that's the copy Fair coming one. to Heritage Auctions in May. So um, we, were all, we were all guessing. Hmm. <clears throat> All guessing if it was going to do better or not. Now we won't have to guess. And apparently that game was consigned before the eBay one ever popped up. It was just a coincidence. That's crazy. That's really crazy. That it's just a coincidence. Jesus. King of the Monsters is a pop zero. Yeah, that's crazy coming up there. Artie Lightfoot was a pop three selling for $812. Capcom Soccer Shootout 9.0 for 117 Into Desert Strike 9.6A. Only copy on the pop. Oh, this is the newly sub. There's two. It's a pop two. Fair warning. This is the highest graded. Four hundred. I think. Dollars. What's the other copy graded? It doesn't say. <laughs> Made in Japan. Desert Strike here. Pop two pushing its way up to over five hundred. Fair warning. I don't know if it's Jeff Mazza or Next Vince lot. or someone else. Game, game Gallery. I don't know who the current owner is of that. Sixty dollars. You have a Budokai 9.8? I'm pretty sure I'm following that lettuce jump on eBay. I'm positive I'm following that. Yeah, just a coincidence, LD, right? Just a coincidence. <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> Fair warning. Pretty much, pretty much. But I mean, following the 90,000 eBay sale, it is a great time for it to show up at auction. It's gonna... I really think it's gonna outsell the eBay one, for sure. 
Um, uh, if you guys didn't see, the eBay copy also has been sent to CGC. That's who he decided to grade it with, and it got a 9.4 A+. Do I have Instagram open still? I don't. Fair warning. Let me just open up Instagram quick here. $360. Uh, it was on Kenneth's page, I believe. K-Thrower? Yes. Uh, so here it is. Um, I, oh man, I'm pretty sure that's Tom right there. I'm like pretty positive that's Tom. Kenneth and I don't know who the third dude is. But 9.4 A+. Plus, already warning. graded. Already done. Um, I don't know why he Net went with CGC. I don't know anything like that, but 9.4 A+, plus, which makes it, I'm pretty sure, the highest graded copy on the WADA and CGC Fair pop warning. reports. It's the only CGC copy. The WADA copy used to be the 9.2 A+, plus was the highest graded. So is there a VGA 90 out there? Is there an 85 plus still? I don't know what exists on the VGA pop report still. But that 9.4 A+, plus now is like... $110. Basically the $110. highest graded copy. $130. There is a 9.0 A++. I, I don't... There is a VGA 90. Okay. $150. Okay. So I would put the VGA 90 ahead of the 9.4. And then I'd go 9.4, 9.2, the 9.0 A++. I mean, I know people can argue if shrink wrap matters, but like the market has kind of spoken otherwise on that. $220. $240. Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow, the 8.5A plus for 475, as well as King of the Monsters brought in 475. Um, damn. I'm a bit surprised that uh, King of the Monsters and Maui Mallard are the same. In my head, Cold Shadow is better. And, I mean, Desert Strike sold for more than all three of them. So, <laughs> 500 for Desert Strike, 475, King of the Monsters, 475, Cold Shadow. And Populous is 9.2A. 9 .2 Only one graded higher out of eight on the pop report. Next lot, one hundred fifty. Rip the dude who was trying to sell Maui, who was trying to sell a Maui Mallard for like fifteen hundred at his game swap. Yup. Fair warning. Yup. I mean, hopefully that guy's copy was like a nine point two nine four nine six or something, Joe. You been interested to know what Wada would have given it? Yes, that's the big question. That's the big question. And then, you know, there's the uh, the speculation or not speculation, but people saying like, oh, it shouldn't have got a nine four, or it should be. So it's always interesting Next when a new lot. game like this comes out, $2. sells, gets graded. $3. There's always so many opinions being tossed around. So $5. Super James Bond was a 9.4A plus as well for $200. Now we have some weird trading $20. cards. $24. Um, Very odd to see these in the auction, but it starts off with Chung Lee here. This is a Capcom $2. phone card. CGC graded 9 from 1991. Uh, from Game Est Volume 9, Volume 57 prize. I, I, warning. I just don't know. Don't know where it's from or what it was for. I don't Next know if it was a prize card or something. I just don't know. $75 $60. for it. $70. Mario versus $80. Super Koopa. $90. CGC 10 pristine here. Jesus. Uh, 1993 Denwa. Teribi Denwa. I think is who made the card here. $100. $50. Oh, you grabbed the Chung Lee, Joe Kane. You'll have to let us know if you get any more information on it. He thought it looked really clean in the photos, but without physically holding Fair it, it warning. would be tough to tell. I mean, my initial guess on it, seeing the eBay photos, was 9.0 to 9.4. So, like, you know what I mean? It went to the high side of my own estimate on it. But, like, it, it is a very clean copy. There's no denying it. It's a clean copy. Fair warning. The Mario vs. Super Koopa for one eighty-seven fifty, and the Mario vs. Ludwig, another CGC 10 here. <clears throat> and then the other piece is on eBay right now. This is right now. Fair A warning. factory sealed Hang Tab Kid Icarus. Also Next sporting one. this exact same Fedco $3. sticker. That's the same $24. sticker that was sitting on the Castlevania that just sold. This is like mint. This is like a, a mint first Fair print warning. Hang Tab Kid Icarus here. Sitting currently at forty thousand dollars. <laughs> so, oh my god, I, I forgot. I meant to bid on this. Fifty-one dollars for the Hypno in a CGC ten. That's a it's a good deal here. I don't know why we have a Pokemon card this week. I don't understand Fair why, warm. but CGC ten for fifty-one dollars is 
pretty cheap for that hypno uh tom clancy our only n64 game today rainbow six going for 150 bucks Uh, a 9.6 eternal duelist soul guidebook yeah that kid icarus is like case fresh i agree it's insane so uh this kid icarus genuinely it could outsell the castlevania it could easily outsell the castlevania i don't think we've seen a single hang tab sealed copy sell at auction through the whole boom, through everything. Um, I don't know what the VGA pop report is on Kid Icarus hang tab. I don't know if anyone knows uh, from off Fair their head. One. There's two hang tab copies on the WADA pop report. One's a 9.4, one's a 7.5. So th- this copy on eBay could absolutely be the highest graded copy that exists. It's just insane. And apparently these are coming... Or what I've heard so far, what I've heard is these Kid Icaruses and the Castlevania and these insane games we're seeing on eBay are coming from an estate Fair sale. Warning. So there was an estate sale. Again, this isn't confirmed yet. Next Ideally, one. I'll be able to sit down $1. with uh, Minus Worlds. I'll sit down with Tom this weekend and do an interview because he met with the seller when he picked up the Castlevania and all that. $2. But apparently, these games are coming from an estate sale and the estate sale had multiple buyers. And that's why on eBay, we're seeing some multiple Fair sellers work. now. But apparently, it's $3, all kind $4, of the same find. You know what I mean? $6, $7, $8. So absolutely, absolutely $9, insane. $10. The Eternal Duelist Soul Book went for $162.50, actually. Jesus, man. <laughs> this Yu-Gi-Oh! book here, 9.6 on it, just outsold like all those rare NES hint books that Next we saw. Lot, absolutely crazy. Dollars. Uh, four video game promotional posters here went for 38 bucks this is 9.8 a plus plus later print on super mario odyssey bucky has a vga 90 all right there we go fair one (laughs) there we go in your opinion it should not do you think any game should sell for that much but anyway you saw the kid icarus things in great shape probably another 9.4 yeah see the on the kid icarus hw i think it could 9.496 like on the castlevania i was thinking more 9.0 to 9.4 i think the kid icarus in general is just like higher tier even nicer i guess is the way to put it but um 65 Annie may was right next to the estate sale what <clears throat> um you thought the king of monsters would go higher you have the only other copy is king of monsters that popular though like i know it's like a pop one um i i just Fair don't one. know if it's that popular of a title dollars. I'm pretty sure I grew up playing this. I just need to see screenshots. Yeah, I grew up playing this game. I think we owned it on Genesis, though. Fair one. But, um... I, 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 does it have, like, a big legacy? Next lot. Not one I ever really $95. see people talk about. $109 for the Mario Odyssey. 9.88 plus plus into some Nintendo Power books now. Starting Fair off with one. Nintendo Power number 10. <clears throat> $130. <clears throat> Fair warning. Uh, so you think it oversold? $140. I'm not sure what you mean about the owner meeting with the graders. Uh, yeah, he just like went and had it graded is all I mean. I don't think the Castlevania oversold, no. If that's what you're asking. I think the Castlevania at 90000 is pretty darn good. Like a good purchase for the buyer. I think it is worth more. Especially now that it's graded. You know what I mean? I think the Castlevania would absolutely sell for more now that it's a CGC 9.4A plus confirmed. If you put it to an auction house, I think you'd get more for it. Personally, um, personally with the Kid Icarus, I actually don't think this will sell for as much as Castlevania. Fair warning. I personally think Castlevania is above Kid Icarus. I'm very curious to hear more opinions on that. I'm putting Castlevania above Kid Icarus. I know Kid Icarus is Nintendo. I just don't think it has the same kind of appeal. It's also been a dead franchise or basically a dead character for a lot longer than Castlevania. Fair warning. $550. Uh, This is Nintendo Power number 65 with Illusion of Gaia 9.8. Jesus. One in 9.8, none higher. Fair Top warning. copy here of Illusion of Gaia, Nintendo Power number 65. Next lot. 
closing for 625 and this is also donkey kong country this is just a fantastic book nintendo power number 66 Fair none one. higher one in 9.8 oh my god it's at two thousand dollars one thousand holy fuck it's over two thousand dollars donkey kong country everybody 9.8 wow beautiful book holy Fair shit one. You think you also think Castlevania over Kid Icarus plus one for Castlevania? You agree in relevance today? Yes, Castlevania above Kid Icarus. Someone eggplant, Greg. Warning. Yep, there's no way Kid Icarus. Wow, I'm surprised actually. I'm surprised. I thought some of you guys would be on the side of Kid Icarus. I thought I thought I was hitting you guys with Fair a hot warning. take there, but it seems like most of you agree. Amongst NES, Tippy Top Collectors, Kid Icarus is obviously higher. Hey, host Steve Craig Retro Games. Hope you're doing well as well, man. Kid Icarus definitely could surpass it, in your opinion. It's a game people with big pockets will want, and it's a stunning copy. Maybe it won't, but I think it has a shot. Yeah, the, <laughs> you don't get me wrong on this, right? If this Kid Icarus were to sell for 114000 I think that's also in the realm of possibility. Like, I personally think it's going to sell for something like 76000 You know, something like that. But if, if it crossed the 100k barrier, that is fully within, like, plausible outcomes for this. Again, it's one of those things where if you get this graded and stick it on Heritage Auctions or wherever, if you put Castlevania and Kid Icarus side by side on Heritage, man... I don't know, right? Fair warning. But I think if we're going like eBay specifically here, I, I man, I don't know. Next lot. I'm hard pressed to think it outpasses Castlevania. If you get them both graded and that kid Icarus is a 9.6, Castlevania is a 9.4, I mean, pfft. you know what I mean? Who the hell Next knows, lot. but we'll see. The auction ends in, I think, five more days. I think it ends this weekend, so. The Donkey Kong Nintendo Power went for twenty five frickin' hundred dollars. Thirty four dollars. Um, ah, man, man, thirty six, thirty four, man, that's crazy. Uh, the group lot of three books again here, going for five hundred and thirty seven fifty. That one had Tips and Tactics, Zelda, How to Win at Mario Bros, and Pocket Power the Wizard. Five hundred and thirty seven dollars for those ones. Hook is a 9.8 A++ for 425 This is a Sega Genesis lot of four games here. <sighs> yes, Donkey Kong Country, no doubt. You assume he took it in person because he wouldn't ship that game anywhere? Oh yeah, for sure, James. So, like, I'm pretty sure he traveled to wherever to go pick up that Castlevania, and then also, like, just flew to CGC. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he spent his weekend just flying around. You think 70,000? You always thought Kid Icarus was a bad game. Castlevania has higher pedigree. That's kind of where I'm at, too. It's like, yes, Kid Icarus is a Nintendo character, and it's, you know, Pit is in Smash Bros. And like, people know Kid Icarus, not, not like, people know Kid Icarus. I just think when we get into this, like, super high tier collecting, if you can put one of these two games on your shelf or cherish one of these two games as the grail, right? The grail of your collection. I just really think Castlevania has way more actual, like, I, I, I maybe like adult collector appeal. Fair warning. Like, I, I think more grown ass men are drawn to Castlevania than Kid Icarus. Two dollars. Yeah, because they're pretty similar $7. in rarity, right? Like, as far as rarity goes, $9. these are both top tier $12. games. Sixteen. Twenty. $20. I just really think Castlevania grips people more. Forty dollars. 42, 40, uh, the group lot of four Genesis games there for 150. We had two more lot here. Uh, Heritage is just bundling up all of the lower price stuff now. If you haven't been here for a few weeks, all of the games that would genuinely sell for around 100 bucks, those are all just being bunched together now. That's why we only have 59 games tonight. Uh, Rainbow Six Lone Wolf 9.6A plus also. Uh, oh, there's a few more PS1 Fair games. Work. I was going to call it the lone PS1 game, but there are a few more. Next Kid lot. Icarus is kind of lame. Shots fired. Shots fired at Kid Icarus. Kick it. Kid Icarus is catching a lot of strays out here today. <laughs> I'll be honest. Fair warning. Mario plays Kid Icarus in the Mario movie. That uh, that settles Next it. Lot. Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six for eighty-four bucks. Dollars. World Cup Professional Edition $80. Long Box nine point eight eight plus for three seventy-five. Beautiful Long Box for the uh, full set collectors out there. Graded lot of two again. So we have Freestyle, Motocross, Jeremy McGrath versus Travis Pastrana. 
Next and uh, Bomberman Party Edition, both 8.5s, going for 104 for the pair. Tomb Raider and Grand Theft Auto, greatest hits copies here. Oh, that's one very expensive magazine. Why would anyone ever bid until the last few seconds? I, I assume these early bids, Steve, are just from Fair people warning. pumping up the market. You know what I mean? Like when these really big items hit eBay or hit Heritage, Golden, wherever, uh, sports cards, games, whatever Fair it is, warning. you always have people who just bid on it to uh, Next to one. just prop up the price. You know what I mean? Get people talking about it. That Kid Icarus is never going to sell for 40000 anyway, so it, it's like fluff bidding, I guess you could call it. It's not shilling. It's more just like fluffing. Just kind of fluffing the bid. You make it look special. You make it look Fair interesting. Warning. It's never going to sell for 40000 anyway. Next lot. No, I know. I know. $18. I know, Steve. Same thing. $206 for Tomb Raider and Grand Theft Auto. Group lot of three there. Sports games for $139. Uh, here's Squall. Why is Squall? I guess I'll throw a bid at Squall. It's a PSA 10. No one outbid me. Let me just win a Final Fantasy 8 card. It's kind of neat. You've been outbid. Castlevania rules bets. $40. Castlevania You've been rules. JC with the $2. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. $44. Why am I getting outbid on this Squall card? $46. Why are we going to push this like 100 bucks? Outbid. Come on. $48. Come on. Surely. $50. The real hype? You grabbed the Artie Lightfoot, Hiko. Damn. $55. Damn, dude. I didn't know $60. you were an Artie fan. That's like a Pop 3, I think You've I said. You've been outbid. I think that's what I saw $65. on it. $65. Crazy. You've been outbid. Why? Why? Why is there a bidding fight for this frickin' Squall card, Fair man? Warning. One more. $75. Like who? Why? This already feels dumb at $100. $80. Why? You've been outbid. <laughs> Why? 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 Why is Fair there someone warning. else who wants this? $85. Why? This is so dumb. $90. You've been outbid. I just don't get it. Um, Fair warning. One more. $95. That's it. Yeah, because new pump. New pump on the FS. I can't. You've I been can't. Outbid. I can't. I can't. I can't keep pushing this. Can you look at the back of Artie? Fair warning. There's some white stuff. You want to see if it's the lighting? If only FF8 was a gem mint Next 10. Lot. If only FF8 was a good game, am I right? $10. If only Final Fantasy VIII was actually a good game people cared about. Me and one other fucker out there are looking to pay one thirty for a squall card. It's like, come on, come on, ridiculous. <laughs> no, the extra five percent didn't really affect my bid there, but it just, it just like, you, you know what I mean? You're buying a Final Fantasy VIII trading card. I love Final Fantasy VIII, but I accept that this is kind of dead money right here. Fair warning. I've. Burnout is a 9.6A+. plus. I'll do a cut bid on it, actually. It's a nice You've copy been of outbid. Burnout. Um, didn't even get the high bid. Looking for 325. You know Fair what I mean? Warning. Like, if you're going to buy Final Fantasy VIII stuff, it's not Final Fantasy Next VII. Slot. I guess that's the easiest way to sum it up. Like, it's just not Final Fantasy VII. So, spending like 124 plus shipping. We're looking at like 150 bucks on Squall. Eh, Fair it's warning. tough, man. Call of Duty Finest Hour, 9.8A+. Next lot. Uh, man, over 500 bucks for it. 525 for Call of Duty, 9.8A+. Let's check some old comps on this. And yeah, we'll take a look at Artie Lightfoot as well for just a second here. For Grand Theft Fair Auto one. San Andreas is a 9.8 with a B-plus seal rating. Next lot. Uh, Burnout closed also at 300 bucks. Like, it's a cool game. A 300 just isn't cheap. You know what I mean? You spend a lot of tough free time defending FF8 Fair on the warning. forums? Oh man, I'll defend FF8 until I die. Like easily my favorite Final Fantasy. 8 and 10. 8 and 10 are just like amazing. 8 is probably my favorite, but you know, even I have my limits there. Even I have my limits. Fair SOCOM goes for 70 bucks. SOCOM 2. 9.8A+. Man, SOCOM 2 getting some love here. Highest graded copy out of just 11. Pushing its way up over 300 Almost $300. Fair warning. 
What are people saying about that? $280. It's damaged, but not terrible? Uh-oh. 9.8 A+. plus. We haven't seen it since July 6, 2023, where Next it sold for $840. $110. So Call of Duty continues to fall. <laughs> Call of Duty. Still down from its last sale on Heritage. Man, oh man, oh man. Where will Call of Duty finally find a floor? Is $500 Fair the lowest warning. it can possibly go? We'll see. We'll see. Keep in mind, at one point it sold for what? Like $10,000? Something like that? Insane. SOCOM 2 went for $325. Fair um, warning. Yeah, interesting to see SOCOM get some love, honestly. $140. <clears throat> Azuric, 9.4a here, not for resale copy. Uh, Tifa was Fair hot one. in the first FF7. What do you mean, man? You weren't, uh, you weren't enjoying those pixels Next way one. back, way back? $280. It's like Laura Croft, Tifa. Like, why do you need the remakes, man? <clears throat> Counter-Strike is a 9.4a+. plus. This is bundled with... What is this? From the Halo Combat Evolved bundle copy? First time offering this variant... What am Fair I looking warning. at here? Next three hundred forty dollars. Bidding is continuing. What 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 am I looking at? What's what's the variant? Oh, up here. Fair Counter Strike warning. Halo bundle has a little UPC sticker underneath. It looks like eighty dollars. Looks like that sticker is under the uh, under the wrap. A little bit interesting there. A little bit interesting there. Sold for $400. Morrowind, 9.8A. Game of the Year edition. Has a nice hollow foil cover there. <laughs> Final Fair Fantasy warning. X turned you off because of damn Blitzball? You just ignore it the whole game. You just ignore Blitzball the whole game. That's the secret. Just don't use Waka. I know Fair he's great, warning. just don't use him. $200. Fair warning. <laughs> yeah, JC. Yeah, you know. You know. Sorry, what What do you do without pants on, hamster? We were talking about Tifa there a little bit earlier. Where did the Fair conversation warning. go? All of a sudden, you're saying you got your pants Next off. Lot. Isn't this a family stream? Isn't that the... I thought we were. Morrowind, the 9.8A greatest hits, or game of the year, sorry, for 275. That's actually not bad. I feel like we had a... Uh, a Next Morrowind slot. game of the year. Yeah, the 9.8A plus last sold two weeks ago for 336 So uh, someone almost paid as much for a 9.8A here. Fair warning. Someone got themselves a deal on that 9.8A plus 50, perhaps. 65 Morrowind game of the year. It just looks nice with the hollow foil cover. Fable was 9.4A plus. That is September date code. Is that Fair the early warning. one? What are the two dates on Fable? Is September the early one? I can't remember now. NFL Fever 2002, Peyton Manning, 9.6A+. Yeah, X-Ray, you warning. sit in the Mario chair in game. Fuck, I forgot you own that Mario chair, man. Next lot. That still makes me jealous. That still makes me jealous that you own the frickin' Mario chair. <laughs> that was money well spent. NFL Fever going for 99 bucks there. Knights of the Old Republic, 9.2A. Gomek, you missed the auction again. Yeah, dude, Fair it was. Warning. it's a quick one now. You show up 30 minutes late and the whole auction is over. Next lot. You were looking at something on Artie Lightfoot as well you wanted to take a peek at. Pico did. Um, just going to open that up there. Can we go back to the current lot? There we are. Knights of the Old Republic did $200, 9.2A. Uh, pretty good for a lower grade copy, honestly. Modern Warfare, 9.4A+. plus Black label copy. We're seeing a lot Fair of warning. CODs all of a sudden. $440. <laughs> July. July is first print on Fable. Fair so warning. this is September date. There's also a July date on Fable. So this Next is a later lot. print black label copy here of Fable. $6. Just so you guys are aware, there's July $44. and September $44. date codes on this game. $60. Call of Duty, $525 for 9.4A+. I'm uh, pretty sure COD is also coming down $75. quite a bit. <laughs> $80. We've been seeing them more often $85. coming down as well. Call of Duty should be finding a floor $100. here soon, I assume. Uh, Skyrim 9.2A plus with the premium map included. Looking for $129 here. $110. $120. An Artie Lightfoot on the back of it, you were saying. 
Oh yeah, that's damage for sure. It's a rip. It looks like a rip that kind of snagged on the box. Like I think this is box fluffing. I think that's cardboard, right? Like I think something snagged it and kind of um kind of actually ripped the box. I'm guessing. Cuz it is an 8.0, right? So like the box looks Fair pretty warning. nice otherwise. Um I'm guessing that's actually chunks of the box here. Is what I'm guessing. I don't think it punched through entirely. I think it's like a cat scratch. Fair warning. You know what I mean? Like kind of lifted up some of the uh lifted up some of the cardboard. $180. This hobby is such a massive spectrum. Gag goes from saying Fair Castlevania one. at 90k is a good price, but then another title sells strong at a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> Next lot. Oh, that's the beauty of this thing, Mike. That's the beauty of this hobby, though, is like so many people, like uh, uh, people who don't like graded games or like Fair even one. just people who are salty about video game collecting as a hobby, like... Man, there's Next shit on one. the spectrum for everyone. $22. Like, video games, if you just want to enter into it, is extremely affordable as a hobby. $46. Extremely affordable. $50. Extremely easy to enter into. $60. There's $65. thousands of games. Like, if your $70. budget is 50 bucks or under, there's thousands of games you can purchase. So, and it, just, it just depends, you know? Fair warning. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition 9.6a plus later print for Next 200 lot. bucks. Skyrim went for 212. XCOM $12, Enemy Unknown the promo $60, copy for $94 and Fortnite $20, Deep Freeze 9.4a plus to close things $20, off here. $26. You think we're getting to the point where 9.6a plus is the real premium on the stuff from Xbox $30, onwards? I mean, it should be hamster it really should be like even skyrim you know 9.2 a plus is it's, it's a nice copy right but like there's just gonna be more copies of skyrim out there and i think we're at that point now we're Fair like warning. yes obviously there's more out there you know and same with like knights of the old republic if you're buying a 9.2 a it's like what is the lowest cost you can get one of these for factory seal that's kind of where this sits at a 9.2 a you can go buy a raw copy off of eBay. It's probably going to be nicer or at least the same. You know what I mean? I just, I think it's just more education is finally entered in about what grades mean what. Fair warning. Like you're no longer going to sell a 9.4 a plus of something at like a massive premium, unless it's something that truly is rare Fair in warning. any condition, especially $50. for stuff that's in DVD cases. So And the deep freeze bundle Fair here warning. is pushing its way up to almost 70 bucks. $5. Looks like it looks like a hole in the seal. How much did that Mario sign put you back in the Fair background? Uh, this one, like the Mario 2 sign. I think we valued it at $700 when we traded. Maybe 500? Yeah, somewhere between 5 and 700. I think I traded for it in 2017. We did a deal. Fair warning. $70. I'm not sure what they're worth now. Yo, Trios TTV, totally missed you there. Welcome in. Yeah, not sure what the uh, that Mario sign's worth nowadays, but they're they're awesome, awesome, dollars. awesome display pieces. You probably have more people here have consigned to HA Sigs before. Uh, should I pester Heritage about May, or would you say August is just as good? I don't think there's a difference between May and August in that sense, Odin. As we enter into August, we might be entering into like Q3, Q4, like generally a good time to sell stuff anyway. So I don't. Fair think warning. there's a big difference there in that regard just my own opinion there i i don't think we're gonna see big swings from now until may or from may until Fair august one hundred dollars merch is much better display Fair than warning. games yeah you need a little bit of merch you do you need a little bit of signs a little bit of merch and your games that's kind of how you really make it pop you know what i mean and I think that's Fair probably like when someone buys the Donkey Kong book for $2,500, like displaying something like Fair this warning. Donkey Kong book amongst your collection just makes everything pop, right? Just looks fucking awesome. The auction is now closed. You just kind of work some of those stuff in there amongst your games. What you don't want to do, 
You don't want to just display Funko Pops. I know some of you guys out there do it. Don't do it. Don't just throw some Funko Pops in there and call that a display. Don't do it. That's how you devalue everything. <laughs> I would rather put loose Amiibo on my shelves than Funkos. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got to trust on this one. You got to trust on this one. You have a little in, you have a lit N64 cabinet that you've owned since the 90s. You got it when Warner Brothers Studio store you worked at closed. Oh man, I wish. Those Nintendo cabinets are like the perfect item. Those Nintendo cabinets are like Oh man, they they're so fucking nice. They're expensive. They're almost impossible to get because they can't really be shipped. But if you get lucky and you have one local or something, man, it's it's like kind of just worth it. Pay the thousand, two thousand dollars, whatever the hell they're worth now. Um, they're worth it, man. They're nice. Graded Funkos. Yeah, have any of you guys graded Funko Pops? Are any of you into the graded Funko Pop scene? How's that going? I think they've been doing Funkos now for months, hey? Maybe almost a year? Six to twelve months? How's that doing? Has that caught on? I literally just saw that, um... PSA was doing a special for it. I think graded Funkos are $34.99 each to get them graded. Does that sound right? It's fucking expensive, man. It sucks. I mean, grading games is expensive too, but... It just, like, it limits... It really limits what you can submit to be graded. You know what I mean? When grading every Funko is setting off, like, 40 bucks each. Oh, man, I didn't even know VGA graded Funko. I thought it was just PSA doing it. I guess it makes sense VGA does it, but I didn't know they did. VGA, um... VGA also does Amiibo. And again, just due to how freaking expensive it is, uh, like no one grades Amiibo, right? It's like $90 each, I think, right now. It might be more. It's, it's literally impossible to do it. It's like, cool, you grade Amiibo, but <laughs> you literally can't do it. That's kind of how it feels with a lot of Funko. Obviously, I know there's some really expensive Funko rare shit out there, so it's good that some companies are authenticating them. But the average person... You, you can't grade your Funkos. <clears throat> your face is the dark, uncanny Incredibles guy pick right now. Is that about graded Funkos there, Hiko, or what? Or about the uh, your game? <laughs> I don't know which one you're referring to. Graded Funkos seem like a desperate attempt to prevent those from becoming the next Atari landfill. You gotta make a market out of it, right? You gotta make a market out of it. If it works, if people want to do it... All the power to them. You can't even really play with Funkos. It's like modern pet rocks. I, I know the thing was, right? Like I have some Amiibos. I bought some Amiibos. I think I own like eight of them. Um, at least they have some kind of functionality attached to it. That was kind of my rationale. I, I think it's just cope. But I had to stop buying Amiibo too because it's just like, fuck man. Like they take up a lot of space and like, do they really matter? Do they really matter? I don't know. They're cool, they're fun, just... Ugh, man. Sometimes it just feels like buying too much stuff. You're, you're firmly on the low end of graded game collecting, but that's also because you'd rather spend that money on signage and game-adjacent stuff. You bought the Killer Instinct vest, right, JC? So, like, you're, you're buying really cool stuff as is. Even if you're not spending a ton of money on graded games, you are buying some really cool stuff. You got flat wall and small 3D printed shelves to display your game and watch collection. It gets way more comments than the rarest pieces you own. Yup. <laughs> like a good display goes further than anything. Like truly just having a good display will get you more attention than like any kind of rare game. VGA grades guides. Yes. I knew that big box. Oh, your game, Hiko. Your game. Ugh. Ugh, I mean, <laughs> hopefully you can still enjoy it. Like, it's still rare as heck, so I mean... Too many variants, that's why you don't really collect Funkos? Well, that that's the whole Funko game, though, you know what I mean? Like, variants, manufacturer limited edition, uh, limited print. That's the whole game. When you don't have actual, like, functionality or... Uh, it's like sports cards, you know? When 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 the when the item itself doesn't do shit, you just kind of have to print it with all of this like mass-produced scarcity, limited prints. This is the rare version. We have these different variants. 
you know? You print stuff for the sake of collecting it. And it's always a bit of a turnoff for me when stuff is literally made as a collectible. It's made to be collected. You know? It's like, eh. It just feels like you're buying whatever the store tells you to buy versus the hobby itself deciding what should be valuable. Does that make sense? When the highest priced lot in the Grady Games auction is a magazine. Yeah, seriously. The frickin' Stonky Kong Country book for 2500 takes over. Stonky Kong Country. 9.8, only 9.8 on the pop report for $2,500. Challenge of the Dragon was right underneath it. Pop 2, unlicensed there. 8.0A plus for $1,000. Artie Lightfoot was an 8.0A. Again, just very rare. I think this one's pop 3 for 812 Ninja Gaiden, get yourself an 80 plus. Not a terrible copy for 756 Who Framed Roger Rabbit also came in tied at number 5. 9.2A plus for 625 as well as another Nintendo Power Magazine. Illusion of Gaia, Nintendo Power number 65 for 625 as well at the other side of the auction one item sold for less than every other item in the auction tonight and it was a group lot of four video game promotional posters dragon quest 6 nintendo ds pilot wings resort um just some cool promotional posters they went for 38 dollars total and the lowest game tonight uh was socom actually SOCOM 1, 9.6A from the headset bundle. 70 bucks. The lowest game in tonight's auction. You want that Super Mario RPG banner? Yeah, never, pal. Never, never 6ZZ. That is staying with me. You don't want it anyway. It's a freaking Canadian variant banner. It has French on it. Ugh. Ugh. I got it from uh, some store closed in Montreal and they were listing a bunch of their stuff on eBay. This was years ago, I think 2014. And I uh, got it out of that store. Got it straight out of Montreal, the Quebecois. Authentic Canadian signage. Ada went on to auction speedrun world record. Quest Jelinek, thank you for the $2. Yeah, went on the auction speedrun world record. I'm just sitting here waffling with you guys because like we're only 52 minutes deep. So it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? We haven't, we haven't even hit the hour mark yet. Just sitting here chatting with you guys, killing time at this point, bleeding the clock. We could have split an hour ago. What about the cabinets you linked? What'd you link? Links don't come through on here, Odin. Links don't come through on here. So you'd have to link in the Discord. If you guys are in the Discord, join the Discord. Link in the description, of course. You, you had a grad sale a few years ago and you found a large loose SNES game collection, which was selling for $1 a piece. Got some good titles for the low. Frick. I can't even remember the last time I got something from a grad sale. Like, I genuinely don't know. Probably more than five years. That'd be 2019. Oh, man. Probably 10 years. That'd be 2014. I was probably still grad sailing in, like, 2016-ish. That was probably the last time I picked anything up at a garage sale. Oh, the cabinets on Discord, those in Canada? I guess you didn't get them? No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, it's it's just such a undertaking. If it's not close to me in Canada, Odin, um, it's a huge undertaking. It's like it has to be Alberta, Saskatchewan, or Winnipeg. Or not Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> it's basically just Winnipeg. But, um... Has to be kind of close. Like, if something's in Ontario, it's like a... Oh man, I don't even know. 13-hour drive further. It's probably like 15, 16-hour drive. And then I'd have to rent trucks and stuff. And, like, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, the auction's done, JC. Like, that's it, man. The auction's done. We are finito. Thursday is going to be the Sega Showcase Auction. I think it's a small one as well, though. Of course, I'll put the reminders in Discord, on Instagram, all that stuff. But... Yeah, on Thursday, we have the Nintendo Power Auction. It's been a crazy week of video game sales with the eBay auctions coming up. The Kid Icarus is going to close this weekend. Of course, we're going to talk about it there, too. And um, I guess that does it, hey? I guess I guess that's it. <laughs> Huge thanks to Heritage Sponsoring tonight. Video games at HA.com to reach out. Huge thanks to you guys coming out tonight. And uh, I'll see you guys in the Discord.
Have a good night, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming out for the Tuesdays. <clears throat>